Good afternoon, I'm Rick McMahon. I'm a real estate broker and partner in Real Estate Advantage along with my wife, Julia McMahon. I'm also a director um, with the CLP, the Chautauqua Lake Partnership, and we are heavily involved in uh, wetlands and herbicide treatment on Chautauqua Lake. Uh, recently, the DEC, under the guidance of Governor Kathy Hochul, um, declared that they want to add, add 1 million, 1 million additional acres of wetlands to New York State. That's 1,562 and a half square miles. To give you a perspective on that, Chautauqua only, County only has 1,065 square miles. Now that is Governor Hochul's commitment to protecting in the budget for 2022-2023 1 million additional acres of unprotected wetland habitat. You can see that on our website, uh, the DEC website, January 3rd, 2024. Um, this is not TV sets, people. You just can't call up Samsung and order a million acres of land. If you and I were going to go out and... Uh, Acquire that, we would actually have to pay for it. There, that's not on the table with the DEC, so the DEC will designate it. It is unlikely that that much of the South Basin will be considered regulated wetlands, particularly the shallow areas containing submerged vegetation ringing the shoreline. T.J. Pignataro, DEC Assistant Public Information Officer, March 10, 2024. There shouldn't be substantive changes on Chautauqua Lake when wetland regulations change January 1st, 2025. When wetlands regulations change January 1st, 2025, stated by a local legislature March 12th, 2024. Well, if there aren't going to be substantial changes, why are we regulating it? So, so bring us to the question. The regulation law, Title 7, 240701, under permits, any person desiring to conduct activities on freshwater wetlands or the regulated areas adjacent to the wetlands must, must obtain a permit effective January 1, 2025. Subdivision 2 of this section goes on to state, erecting any structures or placing any other obstruction are subject to regulation. Is that not a dock? Existing seasonal docks that have been put out every year will still be allowable at no fee. There may be a fee for new docks in the lake in the following years, stated by a local official, March 13, 2024, the Post Journal. State Senator George Borello says he has been in conversations with the New York State DEC in recent weeks regarding concerns many community members have over our changes to wetland designation for the south basin of Chautauqua Lake. Borello says the DEC has assured him that any changes will not impact existing usage and activities for property owners or the recreational use of the lake. Borello says he, along with County Executive P.J. Wendell and Assemblyman Andrew Goodell, who have all been in talks with DC, DEC, are cautiously optimistic at the moment. ChautauquaToday.com, March 14, 2024. Takeaway on those quotes. One, the regulation laws are going to be enacted January 1, 2025. Two, Cautiously optimistic at the moment. DEC has a history proven without any doubt that they will abide by the regulation slash law, not a verbal statement or press release. The phrase existing seasonal docks will be allowed. Yes, for the 2024 season, there should be no doubt. Beyond 2024, there should be a great deal of doubt. Why? A wetland designation will prohibit herbicide treatment, weed cutters, and shoreline cleanup and could disallow any type of gas-powered fossil fuels watercraft within the designated area. What is the purpose of a dock if all you can do is walk out on it as you do a nature preserve to look at cattails and lily pads up close and personal? 
Chautauqua Lake real estate makes up more than 25% of the county's total taxable value. The economic impact of the tourism industry within Chautauqua Allegheny region is nearly $600 million, including more than 11,000 jobs and a tax impact of more than $73 million. Much of this attributed to attractions, resorts, and recreation on Chautauqua Lake. According to an analysis conducted by the Chautauqua Institution last year, com that, that was according to analysis conducted by the Chautauqua Institution last year. But common sense tells us, one, that with the severe dollar loss of real estate values, tourist dollars, bed tax, revenue tax, mortgage tax, you name the tax, New York State has it, the towns will have no defense for not lowering assessments. The town, county, and village real estate taxes lost as assessments are lowered dramatically will affect every resident in the county, especially towns bordering the lake and will result in an increase in tax rates across the board. Number three to take out of this, the DEC will have a foot in the door on the South Basin. There is nothing to stop them from a repeat performance on other areas of Lake North and South Basin. So what do we want to do? What can you do? In a perfect world, a Chautauqua Lake carve-out or statewide all freshwater lakes excluded from wetlands classification. In the real world, we need anyone and everyone to contact their officials on the handouts. We need anyone and everyone to contact their officials. I would say go to, if you want immediate information, go to the chautauqualake.org, C-H-Q-L-A-K-E dot org. That's the CLP website. It gives you contact information for all our county legislatures, anybody like that. Send them an email. We will be keeping that constantly upgraded, and we will have an automatic email um, you guys have probably seen them in your business where you have the automatic thing, stop the wetlands, you hit a button, it goes out to Borello, uh, Kathy Hochul, the head of the DEC. We're going to have that in there. But frankly, a more personalized email from you people would be more beneficial. They don't necessarily read all these, but they look at the number of them, and that has a dramatic effect on which way they go in the direction of their policies. So... I would advise, advise composing an email and copy and paste it to each address of as many people you want. I would advise talking to everybody. And if you know any legislatures or county people, uh, legislatures, local uh, officials or anything, please sit down with them, have a discussion with them, make a phone call. This is a very important issue that can affect us for years, if not decades to come. Um, and I can't imagine, you know, any of us have any opposition to a healthy natural environment. It's one of the reasons we live in Chautauqua Lake. That's not what this is about. This is about don't force us to contribute to your million acres by sacrificing our economy. Uh, because of the DEC statements, financial repercussions have already happened. I can state personally, as I and other railers have had existing sales contracts canceled. I recently had a buyer ask me, is this house outside the wetland zone? And they haven't even officially designated yet. So you can see where problems have, and issues have already started. So we have an opportunity over the next eight months here to thwart this and hopefully stop it and have Chautauqua Lake and other freshwater bodies of lakes in the, throughout New York State be excluded from this, frankly, land grab. So, again, I can't encourage you enough. Go to the website, make your voices known, um, and follow it as time goes on. We'll keep you posted and all that. And don't buy into that. You're gonna, you will hear from people, oh, they won't do that. That's never going to happen. That will never happen here. Smaller thinkers will say, well, that's down there. It won't happen in DeWittville, Mayville, or Bemis. If you're thinking like that, ask yourself, you really sure about that? Um, so I help train salespeople and people that are new to sales sometimes are reluctant to contact a prospect for many reasons, primarily fear of rejection and effort. 
I always tell them, I can tell you 100% certainty the result of not conducting that a prospect, and it won't benefit you. I can tell you with 100% certainty, not getting a hold of your officials or contacting the DEC is not going to serve us in a positive manner. So please call, email, write, send up smoke signals, do whatever you have to do, but make your voices heard. Thank you. Have a great day.